we move by these cards and we all move the same we all we flip over a card and we all move on that card and then it, the cycle repeats so if the card that flips over is a two and you're here you want to turn it into a five to get more points you flip it over you get a five and it's just for you if you never use it that card is worth one point at the end of the game so what we do is we'll take that out can you shuffle those for me sure we also will each of us will get there's five of us, so we'll get two special action cards, and it's just a, an event. So one of them is called Heroic Return. And if you play the card, if you play the card, then one of your lemmings that's been eaten by the eagle magically comes back to life and scores points. So it's just, it's they're funny and cute and things like that. Can you show those sheet, for me? There's a sheet, isn't there? Let's yeah. See. Where did I put them? That's what I was asking you. Oh, I put them over there. Hold on. So this this is your cheat card, and on one side it has the text of all of the possible events, and on the other side it basically has the sequence of play. So the way that it works is, first, you're the eagle, and you roll the eagle dice, Oops. and you do what the eagle dice says. Red die for the pink eagle, blue die for the blue eagle, and if it's a number, then they move around the circle. You pick which direction they move, but they can only move one direction per turn. So with a two, you would have to go either one, two, or one, two. You can't go one, two. And then if there's a lemming in the open, then they would eat that lemming and goes to the eagle chow pot. That's the whole game. The and rest then, of it's just mechanics, right? And then the lemmings go on the blue square. Yeah, they fly around okay. and you can see the light colored lines that separate the zones. Got it. So we're lemmings, so we're afraid. We can't move into the zone that has the eagle in it, even if the eagle's on his chow side. We have to stay out of the zone completely. We have to go around. Which is tough because you're only allowed to move sideways one space per turn. And you can't ever move backwards. Right? Because we're headed for the cliff. We're charging the cliff. So I couldn't go here and then here and then forward. You can move one and then forward. Now if the eagle comes into your zone and you're in a bush, then instead of getting eaten, you scatter. And the person who's the eagle player makes all the decisions on which lemming gets eaten and where the other lemmings scatter. So if it's my turn and I'm in the bush, I'm obviously gonna scatter myself forward. And I'm gonna scatter all you guys backwards because that makes it harder for you to get to the end and score points. So that's the only time you can go backwards? Yes. And you don't really do it, the eagles do it. How we get around that, right? So, another thing that we can do is pile on. I'm going to borrow one of yours. So, in a pile, and since we're playing with five people, we can have up to three lemmings in a bush. In a clear space, it's up to five. Only the lemming on top gets to move. So, if you're on the bottom, you just kind of have to sit there. And if, if the movement card turns over and you can't move any lemmings on the board, you have to start a new one. If you don't have any new ones to start, then you do something called clawing your way to the top, where your whole movement that turn is you claw your way to the top of the pile. But one that's, at a time? No, you go all the way to the top. Okay. But you can only do that if you can't do anything else. You can't move, move a lemming, you can't start a new one, none of that stuff. So if the lemmings are in the open and the eagle comes into the zone, the lemming on top gets eaten, and the lemming underneath scatters. The eagle will only ever eat one lemming at a time. So being on top in the clear can kind of be dangerous. But because the eagle player makes the choice if there's two lemmings in the open, the eagle player decides who gets eaten. Right? And it's okay to eat the lemming of somebody you know. <laughs> right? Because the object is to win. Okay? Um, as we go through, there's these little food pellets, 
and they have different values. Some of them say one on the back, some of them say two, and some of them say favor. If it says a one or a two, at the end of the game, you get extra victory points. Oh, I forgot my thing. If it says favor, you save them up, and you can trade them in based on the, the little bottom of your cheat sheet. So you can trade in one favor to get an extra movement, not above five. You can trade in two to get an extra point for a lemming that's already been scored. Or you can trade in three to get a new special action card. So we're all gonna start with two. Wes, is it okay if I just slide this over? Absolutely. Eric's kind of... Stretchy. Okay. He's stretchy. So we each start with two special action cards. And like your, your clan card, if you don't use it, it's worth one point at the end of the game. So the, the things that are worth points are getting your lemmings off the cliff, your cards, and the food pellets. If you have three favors at the end of the game, it's worth one point. So, if you can, uh, your name is Kit. I'm Kit. Can you uh, deal the seven off the bottom? And then mix that in with them. When this card turns up, that's the end of the game. And just mix those up and stick them back on the bottom. So the way it works is, the lemming goes first, or the eagle goes first, and then there's the lemming phase. And if you're controlling the eagle, then you're, you go first in the lemming phase. You turn over a, a movement card, and then you can exchange a pellet, play a special action card, and move. You can do all three or any combination of the three, as long as you have cards. We get three special actions? Oh yeah, we only have four. Five players. I did this first, first. So now there's only one special action card left, so whoever gets that is money, apparently. <laughs> Alright, so stick the uh, draw pile on the draw pile. And usually, since I know how to play the game, I usually go first, if you guys don't mind. I don't know. I don't mean to call game over on you. But it makes it... it makes